Oh, I guess we got some silver. I guess we got some silver. Okay, take a look at the roster. And we are going to build a sweet arena team out of this. Yes, we are. I'll be right back. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here. How cool was that video? Uh, the, the little intro there with the snake. I have been really meaning to put that as the intro for one of my Hydra videos. I literally just keep forgetting. So I decided to just throw it in here because it's too cool to just let it sit. So let's go ahead and get this champion training started here. Running some 12-3 Brutal, obviously. Uh, in today's video uh, will be highlights from the stream from the other day on my Twitch channel. This will give you a great idea of what it's like to have an account takeover by me. In this video, we are doing um, uh, an arena team build for uh, one of the viewers who contacted me. I do account services all the time for people. If you're interested, join the Discord in the link below. In my, uh, where's the link? It's in the description. And uh, and then send me a message. Tell me what you'd like. I'll tell you the price for it. And uh, then we can go from there. You can also earn free takeover services just by coming and hanging out on Twitch, watching there, saving up points to exchange for any of my services. Um, I will come back uh, near the end of the video to wrap it up and show you some um, some things that he was able to accomplish uh, after I gave the account back over to him. And finally, if you want to make cool intros uh, or some type of video content like I did with that snake opener, head over to videobolt.net using the link in the description below. I'll get a small percentage of that um, if you get something over there, uh, but that is a very easy to use site that I use for all of my content, uh, and I'd love to hook you up with some awesome things there as well. So let's jump back into the video here where you're going to see my whole process building this arena team broken down just for you. So I'll be right back after the stream highlights. All right, so we're 100% gearing Warlord. We're going to double check Seafy. We're going to put Draco in there. Or do we have Saris? No, we have Saris. We'll put Saris in there. And then who's the best damage dealer? Or wait. We can't just do that. Hmm. Question. Question. Should we be building a go second team? Necrit's build 2. His HP is questionable. Yeah, it's a bit low. We got flat defense. Why? Just for the speed? Yeah, I don't know about that. Attack percentage boots? Okay, some of these builds definitely need tightened up. I wish he was here live, but he said he doesn't do uh, he doesn't do Twitch, so I don't know. I think we need to do Deacon? We can do Deacon. Deacon is perfect. Because that satisfies our decreased defense and our speed lead. I mean, he definitely has speed boots. Like, we got... We got uh, 272 speed here, so that's not bad. Uh, but Sifi definitely needs to be the fastest. Okay, let's go ahead and check. Where is he at? He's level 72. Daily logins. He's only on day 190. So he hasn't even finished day 270 yet, guys. So keep that in mind, okay? So where are we at in Arena? We're only in gold 1. Oh, you thought Necro was in speed boost because his HP was so low. Gotcha, gotcha. But now we know why. Yes, now we know why. Okay, so let's go ahead and change Seafy over into the fastest gear on the account. We have all of the uh, all of the 
silver we could ever want in our life. Biggin has six star speed boots. And so does Apothecary. Uh, to be honest, Sills boots are the best ones. HP accuracy resistance. Yeah. I'm taking the common ones, chat. I'm taking the common ones for sure. Okay, there's the Seafy build. Does she have this? Yes, she does. I would say probably the resistance mastery is not going to be nearly as good on her now that we changed the build. So, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and reset the masteries here. And we can do this and this and this and this. Uh, yeah, lasting gift seems great. Um, do we want improved parry, though? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like that for sure. Yeah, that that's a good one. AoE. I don't know if we can make it the resist one. I don't think we can get over there. I think we need to go like this. Like that. So, you can take the anti crit. So, if I was to go here, here. Oh, and then I could do those two. Yeah, that's probably a little bit better. Probably a little bit better. We're gonna go that one. And rapid response. This is still good, though. This is still good, though. Okay, booked. Four, very nice. Four, very nice. He's got some crit damage, chat. And actually, I don't know if you know this, but see if he can smack. Boom! With the force today, chat. Let's go. Yeah, we'll do the resistance. The 12 is terrible, but it's the best we got, so we'll take it for now. And then we have uh, 300, over 300 speed on the Seafy, which is good for this level of account. <laughs> That's all you get is ones? Oh, trust me, I got some ones on my account today. Not gonna waste another glyph on her. Okay, so she's not very tanky, but we did get her to 314, which in my opinion is pretty impressive for this account. Okay, second champion is gonna be Deacon. And he has an awesome accuracy chest. Does he have an accuracy banner? He does. Do we have a better one? Yes. Let's take this, for sure. No, let's just... Oh, it's fine. Let's find the thing that has the most accuracy. It's... Come on. Yes, sir! Let's go! No for Deacon not to get cut off. That's with the... It's Seafy. Why? Oh, because Seafy's boost is smaller. Gotcha. Alright, we can get 283, so that's pretty comfortable. Let's. Alright, uh, Masteries. I don't like offense and support, but I'm not willing to, to go change it. So we have the first two. The next one is going to be. 
Oh, you Warlord? And then... Who's this damage dealer? Magnar, probably? Or Foley would be good. Like, yeah, we could do Seafy Rotos, but I don't think he has the gear for this team. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do Warlord. Because he doesn't have any gear on. Does he have Masteries? He must have just got Warlord. Yup, that's the one right there. There we go, that's perfect. That's perfect. Clarion needs to add a double, triple... I know, right? Like, they definitely have improved, but we're not done yet. We'll come over here and down here. So, very similar. Okay, cool. Alright, best damage dealer, I think, is Magnar. I think. It's close. Like, we could use Foley. I think that that's an option, but we don't have increase attack. So, Foley should probably go with Gorgrab. Alright, so let's rebuild Magnar, HP crit rate, speed, I mean, this is not a bad build, I wouldn't say it's great, but it's not bad, and he has masteries but not picked, okay, perfect. Alright, I think this is, I think this is pretty good. We're in Savage, we're in Savage and crit damage. I honestly, I think this is going to be the best build, but let me think about it, because, hold on, let me pull up the damage efficiency tool, 50,000 and 250, I think will be our crit damage, yeah, you're right, we're way below on HP, 62,195. Uh, that's really on point, actually. That's really on point. Okay. Alright. Only the top HP nukers do good in Savage, and Magnar does? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. For the Masteries, because we're so low on crit damage, we are going to um actually we don't need bring it down stun sleep fear true fear we don't have that we're gonna do cycle of violence and wrath of the slain and blood shield is super good on him and then we're gonna go crit damage and then kill streak. And then we're gonna go counter attack. Like that. Alright, let's go wreck it. Is he booked? Yeah, he's booked. Let's go. So here's what we ended up with, okay? Um actually, well the helmet's maxed out. Did we max the weapon? See, we can hit speed on one of these? Yeah, absolutely. You have five pieces of Savage and one Immortal. Is that really true? Alright. We'll, we'll look into that. We'll look into that. We may have gotten a little sidetracked in the build. Oh, yo! We hit speed on that piece! That's insane! We have immortal boots and we forgot to look for a helmet. Okay. Alright, we forgot to look for a helmet. Good call. I would have noticed eventually. So, that would help on this beat. The only thing here with this helmet is that then we would be at 98. He's not going to have good immortal gear. Because his clan boss team is not great right now, remember, chat. So, keep that in mind. Put this on here. I'm going to take the 10 speed. or Yeah, I'm going to take the 10 speed for the minus 2 crit rate. Don't hate me. For now, this build's okay. Remember, guys, he's only in gold 1. He's only in gold 1, okay? And we're building him a much better team than gold 1. So, we have Deacon, Seafy, 
Uh, Warlord and Magnar. And this should run on auto. Uh, Seafy should Whirlwind on her own. But I like to make sure. Warlord definitely needs to do this one first. He will always prioritize that unless weird things happen. And you need to make Magnar do his things as well. Alright, let's go wreck some people. This is the auto win right here. Auto win. See what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter that Magnar's slower because all their skills are going to be on cooldown. They're going to target Deacon first, who we, we could care less if they kill. People in Gold 1 are going to be happy when they run into that team. Yeah, they are. Let's go set his defense, too, so he doesn't drop down. Oh, look! Look, he's already on the right track with this. Let's try. Oh, yeah, we got this. I mean, Syl gonna do nothing. Oh yeah, she's gonna wake up. <laughs> See, he's so busted. Why Why do people think she's okay again? Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, we're weak hitting the sill. Doesn't matter. Get her anyway. The only problem with Magnar is that he's spirit, guys. Only problem with Magnar is that he's spirit. You don't even have to worry about Foley. Like, most teams I build, you have to worry about Foley. Um, we got resisted there on a ton of people, but let's see if we can still kill them anyway. Still killed them all anyway. Get them. Get them. I mean, this this arena team is the thing of beauty, chat. And if he had a faster speed aura, this team would be super legit. Alright, so that'll do it here for this video. Um, we built an amazing arena team for my dude. And uh, it turned out it turned out super good. His, his roster was insanely good. We had a lot of choices, but we ended up with a great team, great results. I actually I messaged him this morning to check on his progress, and I was just encouraging him. You know, like you you should be good to go. Easy wins all the way up to gold four, and his first message back to me was already there. So in you know a, in an hour or two, he was already up from gold one to gold four, and then later this morning he sent me this screenshot as well. He actually fought his way all the way up to platinum with that team. What an incredible account transformation from gold one all the way to gold four and I can help you to do the same thing. If you're interested in an account takeover for Arena or any other area of the game, hit me up in Discord. We will hook it up. I will get you the best prices available. Um, I, my prices are pretty cheap in comparison to what a lot of people ask to do these types of things. So thanks again so much for watching. Like and comment with your awesome Arena teams. And um, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Check out some more of the videos coming on screen here. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Would love to get to my next goal of 8,000 subscribers. We'll see you guys in the next video.
No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 